Let's get straight to the point. Limited run games messed up. We're gonna cover three parts here. When did it start to go bad? What's currently going on right now? And what it's gonna look like in the future? Let's get started. Trust me when I say if this continues, it's gonna go really bad. So where did this all start? This started several years ago when the company decided they weren't gonna do limited releases anymore and they were doing these open pre-orders. In theory, the open pre-orders was a great idea because more people get the games and everyone who wants a copy gets a copy. You want a copy? Great, well, let's get you that copy. Just fill out a pre-order. Awesome, love it, I'm gonna get my game. It went bad though. The relationship went sour because the turnaround time was awful. People were waiting six months to a year, sometimes two years to get their game. Some people have open orders and have never received their game and it's getting kind of ridiculous, so people are frustrated. So at this point, people are looking for a reason to completely abandon limited run games and go to the competition. And let's keep in mind who the customer base is. The customer base is a niche audience. This is people who want physical games, they don't want digital games. And these are people who want physical games of indie titles. Whether you like to admit it or not, that's a niche audience. It is not the entire gaming landscape because most people buy digital. Enter January 6, 2023. They make an announcement that an employee has been let go. Why did they have to make that public? That is a great question. You can go look up all the beef on Twitter. There's a lot of accusations flying back and forth. Basically, it boils down to a lot of people believe that limited run games let somebody go for the wrong reason. You can make your own opinion. You can go do your own digging. I'm only going to show limited run games tweet here. I'm not going to show the other people. Now we don't know the full extent of everything. We're just seeing everything from the outside. We don't see anything from the inside or any internal investigation. We don't know any of that right now because limited run games is keeping their mouth shut. The person in question who was let go has said that they will put out a video video statement on their own terms when the time is right with their side of the story. That's when we'll probably finally get the full clear picture of what actually happened. So now limited run games is in damage control. And how is that going? <laughs> Poorly. Their response was, let's just shut off comments and not say anything else about this and let Twitter run rampant for a day. And wow, they really just ran them over. And now you look at their engagement on socials and they're not getting the likes and views that they used to be getting. And any comment you find is probably not great right now. And it's really the wrong way to handle this all the way around. Why did you have to go posting this response right away, not give a lot of detail, and just let the comments run wild. It really PR nightmare all the way around. In my opinion, everything around this situation should have been handled a lot differently. There was no finesse to it. So where does it go from here? This is the portion where you get to vote with your wallet now. If you don't like what Limited Runs games did, don't keep buying their products. If you have open pre-orders, you can try to cancel them if you want to. I've heard of people opening tickets and I'm sure they're absolutely flooded with tickets right now, people canceling open pre-orders. So maybe you just wanna charge back on your credit card. That is also a valid option out there. You have options as the consumer here. You don't have to buy from them. And I'm gonna put out a second video showing you alternative options to buy games. I do wanna throw this other caveat out there. Don't retaliate against limited run games employees. This was at a higher level somebody made this decision. And don't retaliate against these third party developers. These third party developers probably had no idea that this was gonna happen or anything related to this. They just thought, hey, I'm finally getting my indie game published. I have my passion project finally getting a physical copy and I'm so excited. Oh, now it's linked to this company that people don't like. Don't punish these third parties. If you wanted the game, go buy it digitally. Put some money in their pocket. Don't let these companies and developers die out because of somebody else's poor decision making. And I wanna illustrate one more thing and that's the trust thermocline. And it's really an interesting concept and I'll leave a link in the description so you can read it fully if you want to. But basically this concept says that as a company makes changes, that the customer base does not like, they will tolerate it to a point. Basically a steady decrease in client base as they make these poor changes. 
and then all of a sudden there will be like a flip of a switch and your user base, your customer base, whatever, drops off like a cliff. And then it doesn't matter what you do because you have broken their trust. And the trust is the biggest part of your customer base. And the trust in this instance is from your collectors who spend their extra hard earned money on these indie games printed in limited quantities in this niche market. When you're only going for a niche market, you need every customer you can get, and you've now alienated a lot of them. And unfortunately for a company like Limited Run Games, it doesn't matter what you do, you will never be able to bring all of that trust back. So at this point, the company kind of feels like we're just watching the collapse. And the thing is, Limited Run Games isn't just an independent company anymore. They are owned by Embracer. And I guarantee you, they are watching this like a hawk. And so how I see this playing out is this could go down a few different ways. Either they try to rebound and they just operate with less users, less customer base, a lower customer base. Option two is Embracer says, shut it down all the way, wash your hands of it. Or option three, which I think is the most likely, and I don't know how far in the future this is, is they take the carbon engine that Limited Run Games has. This is what they really wanted, I think, is they take that carbon engine, they take that whole development team and pluck it into another studio. And they say, your whole job now is to remaster our old games that we want to put out there. And they take the collectible side of things and they try to spin it off into something else and they just ax the whole brand name. Because at this point, there's a lot of trust that is gone from that brand name. They, they can't recover. The value isn't the same as what they purchased it for. And all of this, along with the trust thermal client, everything that's happening right now as we're watching this all unfold is why I think we're watching the downfall of limited run games. And if you've made it this far, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and leave me a comment of what you think down below. And you don't want to miss the next video. I'm going to give out recommendations of the companies I think you should spend your hard-earned money on instead of limited run games. If you want to watch something else, YouTube thinks you should watch one of these videos that are going to appear here somewhere. I don't know where yet, but maybe there's a video here. Maybe it's down here. Maybe you should watch one of them because YouTube thinks you're going to like them.